Can you tell us what we have here, please? All right, so we have an electrochemical compressor with two metal hydride heat exchangers. We just finished discharging this heat exchanger into this one. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the temperature differential, you can see that one is at 42 degrees Celsius, while the other one that was discharged is at 10 degrees Celsius. And what's the pressure that the compressor got to? The compressor is at 500 PSI on the outlet, and it's at 7 PSI on the inlet. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to reverse the direction of the compressor, okay. allow this heat exchanger to discharge into this one, and this will get cold and this will heat up. Okay. Go ahead and do that, please. So... Wow. So let's look at the temperatures quickly. Dropped rapidly. 11. Now that's getting hot to 34. That's going down to 9. So that is getting cold. And the pressures here, uh, we're at 500. It's dropped dramatically. Now one's rising. The other one's dropped to 24. And let's look at the temperatures again. It's at 1 degree centigrade right now, 0.8. Let's look at the system again. Let's look at the pressures again on the screen, 30 and 22, so it's dramatically reversed. There we go, 28 and 20, it's still dropping on the right. And the temperature, wow, look at that, we're minus 2.8, minus 3, and that's gone up to 33 degrees centigrade. And I think I see a little bit of frost growing on this thing. Do you see that? Does everybody see the frost? Yep. See that? Mm -hmm. And we're now at minus 5 degrees centigrade. And 33 in the other heat exchanger, so one's getting hot, that one's getting cold. And again, I'm going to switch to the pressures. Uh, we're down to 19 from 500. And up to, and they're beginning to equilibrate to two heat exchangers. And we're now at minus 7.8 degrees centigrade, 8. And now we have, like, real frost. Let me just scratch that off so everybody seeing this can see the... That's the frost right there. Wow. This is an integrated metal hydride heat exchanger system with an electrochemical compressor.